Hi everyone, my name is Takalani and I'm so excited to do the, today's devotion with you guys. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to say, yes, it is just like Takalani says to me. And to the vendor people out there, I do apologize for butchering my name. But nonetheless, though, our scripture today comes from James 2 verse 23 and it reads, And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness and he was called a friend of God. I want to focus on this simple but profound point that I think James is mentioning in passing, passing here. And he says, and he was called a friend of God. The he is Abraham. So Abraham, who is a man just like you and I, is said to have been friends with God. Think about it. The all-powerful creator of the universe, the infinite one, um, the one who we may think about as our father, as our savior, is here said to have been friends with a man. How crazy is that? But I think what's even crazier is the fact that he wants to be in relationship with us too. One of the reasons why Christ came to die and res resurrect again was so that we could be in that relationship with God, that we could be in friendship with God. And I think oftentimes when you think about relationship and the fact that God desires to be in relationship with us, we forget that he also wants to be our friend. He wants to be in a, in a deep friendship with us. You know, and so when we think about the best friend we could possibly have, God is desiring to be that best friend for us. And so my encouragement as we begin to check our circles this week is to begin with checking with God and seeing whether God is our friend or not. Because if he's not, know that he desires to be your friend. And if he is, I would encourage you to, to grow in that friendship, that you spend time in his word, that you pray, that you, you are using his word to hear from him, but you are praying to tell him, tell him more about yourself, your desires, your, your hopes, your dreams, your, and I think in this time, your anxiety, that he may come and show you through his friendship that he cares for you and he desires the best for you. And so I pray that God, you would be with each, with each and every person that hears this, that Father, you will walk with them, that they may know you as a friend in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a good day.